I really thought he was an awesome robot, and he was really cool, and I liked the feel of his skin. Six-year-old Ron Burns came dressed in his best space suit to get up close and personal with Robonaut 2. Easy. R2 is the new kid on the block, or in space, that is, and he doesn't mind flexing his muscles. Now, robots have been in space for years, but R2, he's different. Well, they're really interesting things. Some robots can actually are, are trained to swim underwater and save people to, from drowning. Okay, that's not what R2 will do. He's in space to help out with chores and repairs. Like a human, it has uh, a great deal of dexterity in its hands and um, similar mobility with its arms, so it can do many things that a, that a human could do. The goal is to one day give R2 a job, like a real astronaut. R2's twin is already in orbit aboard the International Space Station. He was just unpacked yesterday. And as cool as he is, there are no worries that he's going to take anyone's job just yet. Didn't miss this time, so it's going to have to go back and try again. We might have to give it a little help. It's just a few kinks in the system, according to NASA, and that's why this twin is still on Earth. So, now you get the idea. As we're, this is one of the tasks we're currently continuing to develop. Do you want to work with robots when you get older? I'm more of a spaceman person, but I could bring some up with me. But if he could have a robot now, what would Rowan have it do? Do my chores. Which ones? Um, like everyone. Well, they may have to go back to the drawing board for that. In D.C., I'm Talia Price for Capital News Service.